Hey guys, um, I've had a lot of requests for discussing my personal kind of philosophy with food and how I've come to have a pretty re healthy relationship with food myself. Personally, I've kind of gone in and out of different phases. For the most part, um, I have a pretty healthy relationship with food since I was little. My mom's a holistic nurse practitioner and, you know, had a good balance of whole wheat bread, but then also trick cereal on the on the weekends and kind of like treats and knowing when it was appropriate to have something versus not but then there were also extremes sometimes she would make brownies and we'd all do it together as a family and it was so beautiful but then in that one night we would eat them all so that wasn't really balanced that's not necessarily right for my body and I'm not here to say what's normal or not normal or right or wrong I'm just here to share my experience of how I feel that I got to the place I am right now, which is still a long journey um, in this moment. One step at a time, if you're having struggles with food, each meal is an opportunity to start fresh. So when you sit down to breakfast, saying gratitude as you prepare the dish, even if it's something as simple as oatmeal, when you're boiling the water, you know, saying words of gratitude, just seeing how beautiful they are, treating them with love, and then putting that energy right back into your body. So if you can start to practice that one step at a time, each snack, each meal, prepare as much as you can on your own, because as soon as you go out and buy something prepared, that separation kind of is created. Making it yourself can be really powerful and empowering. So in addition to each meal being an opportunity to start again, so say that one night, which happens to me very often, just last night I had a lot of ice cream and a lot of dessert and I was trying to eat clean and I was on a mission this week, I was gonna do X, Y, and Z and I didn't. I let myself down, I gave myself permission. It's so easy to fall in the trap of feeling guilty and horrible about yourself. But I've gotten to a point now where I am very conscious and aware of my own actions and knowing that for every action there's a reaction. If I eat that bowl of ice cream every single night for three weeks, I will absolutely not feel good in my skin. Doing it once in a while as a treat, I actually need to do for my own state of mind and balance because A, I love sweets. B, it's a source of pleasure. C, it's a way of letting go. And lastly, any extreme in my body, I know that if I take something away for too long, then I will go crazy and wanna binge and be crazy and like when the sugar's around, I'll wanna eat it all. Any type of extreme for me is not going to work. Um, and I know that about myself. So another thing that's really helped me in struggling times of overeating, feeling guilt, I go right back to a food journal. I do three days of writing down everything I'm eating, how I feel 20 minutes later, and keep track. And then I can review it and say, wow, that wasn't working for me. I see I had dairy three meals in a row, and that's why for a couple days my stomach hurt. Or whatever it is, you know, like whatever observations you need to know and see and be aware of, you've got the answers right there within you. You just have to look at what you're doing, look at your habits. Again, every food has an energy, every food, responds to your personal unique body in a different way than it may respond to me. So I'm not gonna tell you exactly what you should be eating or necessarily what I do is gonna work for anyone else. So create this healthy relationship with food by keeping a food journal, becoming aware, remembering that each meal is a gift, that it's all energy that you create as you're preparing the food and then as you're eating the food and how you feel afterwards. Lastly, I just wanna say that the most important thing here is forgiveness giving yourself forgiveness, that is what's gonna give you this positive relationship with food, is it when you forgive yourself and you don't hold on to that guilt and all those negative feelings and that energy in your body, that's when you're gonna finally be able to free yourself of whatever negativity that you may be creating um, in this relationship. So forgive yourself, love yourself, love the food, see its beauty in all forms, even if it's not the healthiest. <laughs> Let me know if this helps, leave a comment.